welcome to Her Street. Today we're gonna have a little fun in the sun with the inventor of the bikini. No, no, I'm Annette Keeleman, Australian swimmer and inventor of the women's one-piece swimsuit. What? You're referring to Louis Rayard, Frenchman who invented the two-piece in 1946. Please enlighten me as to how a one-piece swimsuit is at all historically significant. Before I invented the one piece for women, the acceptable cosy white swimming costume was a floppy hat, bloomers that reached down below the knees, a tunic with a skirt attached to cover said bloomers, which also had sleeves that reached at least down to the elbows, rubber shoes to keep their feet from getting wet. A lot of times the tunic would have been weighted down to keep from billowing out and revealing any more of a woman's skin. Complete whacker. Looks like someone just got swim schooled. What I did in 1905 was create an amended men's swimsuit that became known as the Annette Kellerman style swimsuit. What was the public reaction to your swimsuit? Not everyone was too keen on women showing more skin. In 1907, when I wore my one-piece swimsuit on a Boston beach, I was actually arrested. Arrested? For public indecency. Didn't know we had a criminal in our midst. The only thing criminal about that was how terrified you Americans were of the female form. And that I am puzzled by one thing, which is that your nickname is the Australian mermaid, not the Australian swimsuit kangaroo. Well, I was born in 1866 in a little suburb right outside of Sydney, Australia. As a child, I was actually quite weak. I had deformities in my legs. And so my parents taught me to swim at a very young age as a form of therapy and I just naturally took to the water, started swimming competitively. I was actually in a seven mile race down the Seine River, tried to cross the English Channel a few times, swam down the Thames River for about 15 miles with a whole crowd cheering me on. It was actually a swimming and diving exhibition that I was doing in London in 1905 that necessitated the development of my one-piece swimsuit. The royal family was going to be in attendance and I needed to create a swimsuit that would allow for enough movement underwater but also retain enough modesty. How did you wade professionally the rest of your life? Did you just swim around and sell swimsuits here and there? No, in fact I transitioned from water to land and became a vaudeville star, sort of oh. like a, an off-Broadway. I became at one point the highest paid vaudeville actress because I was so successful, transitioned from vaudeville to Hollywood and starred in quite a number of silent films. A movie star too? You might have seen me in titles such as The Mermaid or uh, A Daughter of the Gods, Entombed Alive. My God, woman, you are like the Beyonce of your day. In 1908, in fact, a Harvard professor decided that based on my measurement and my fitness level that I was the most perfect woman alive. It made national news Annette Kellerman the perfect woman. Perfect? To which I responded, oh yes, but only from the neck down. Ooh, this is really uh, dredging up some of my inferiority complexes. <laughs> Tell me what came next in your life. After my film career sort of died down a bit, I decided to open a health food store in Long Beach, California. Health food store? Really. I had become a national and international advocate for health and fitness and I had a health food store, I was a best-selling author, I would go on speaking tours. Please tell me your biography doesn't end on that lackluster note. In 1952, Esther Williams starred in the film Million Dollar Mermaid that was all about, oh I don't know, me. <laughs> Let's try again, 1974, year before I died, I was inducted into the International Swimming Hall of Fame. Well that is a relief to hear, that is quite an accolade. But I finally meet your standards. Among your multifaceted career, which, which aspect do you hold most dear? Was it the way that you decided to steer your life in front of the public mirror? That you were for women the swimsuit freer, allowing us to swim in oceans far and Near. First of all, great rhyme. I once famously said that there is nothing more liberating than swimming because all of life's shekels are washed away in the waves. I believe that I helped wash away some of women's shekels with my invention of the one piece swimsuit. Truer words have never been spoken, at least I'm assuming so because honestly I can't understand you much through your accent. <laughs>